Hey, he's going to YouTube, so you know it's best here. Here about to show you how to hack your Apple TV. It's a very easy, straightforward process. Now, you're going to need two things. You're going to need a USB thumb drive. At least a gig will be fine. And also, you need to download a program called ATV USB Creator. If you do a Google search for that or Google um, Apple TV Patch Stick, you'll find the application. But if I remember, I'll put a little link in the info box here to the right. But actually, after you download the program, simply you want to plug in your USB drive first. All right, like so. And then you want to launch the application. All right, so after the application is launched, it's pretty much ready to go from there. Just want to make sure this little checkbox here is checked because what you're really trying to download is this XBMC slash Boxy for the Mac. It has a lot of cool things for it. But also, as you get that selected, make sure that's selected. Just want to go ahead and hit Create Using. It's going to select the automatically selected USB drive that's in your computer. Hit Create Using. It's going to go ahead and start downloading the DMG file if you don't already have that. That's the image file for you to actually to put this software on your Apple TV. And it'll take just a few moments with to do that. So after that gets done, I'll be right back with you. Okay, so after you get the USB drive and get all the software downloaded to it, you want to take your Apple TV, unplug it, plug in your USB drive, and then plug the power back into the Apple TV. All right, so once you plug the Apple TV back in, uh, the patch check was go ahead and start running the code. Just give this a couple minutes, and it'll be done in just a second. Okay, so after it gets done downloading, simply just want to unplug your Apple TV, take out the USB drive, and then just plug your Apple TV right back in and let it boot up. Okay, so after you plug in your Apple TV, uh, it'll go ahead and start booting up and loading up again, and um, everything should look normal up to this point. Uh, but once we get to the actual menu screen, you should be everything see everything a little bit differently. <laughs> All right, so that's a nice little fancy intro to uh, to the Apple TV here. Okay, so here we got the uh, Apple TV is all launched and ready to go, already been hacked. And again, after you get the uh, the thumbstick and have to do this last little restart of the Apple TV, you're done with the hard work. You're done with the labor of it. I mean, that's that's done with. So now all you really have to do is you see here, there's a new menu to the left-hand side called the software menu. And it's basically just a little, a little bit more advanced tweaks and settings and all that stuff that you really don't need to get to as far as like what I'm wanting to show you today. Um, but basically what I'm going to show you, I'm getting moving over to launch and I'm navigating this via my iPhone, uh, via the, the control application. I love this application. Um, but anyway, you can uh, navigate over here. And what the first thing you need to do, actually, you need to go to the download section and uh, actually click on this and actually start downloading the latest version. All right. So I already got all the latest versions downloaded. Just download all three of these things here to get them up to date. And once you do that, now you can go ahead and uh, log in to say I'm going to go ahead and log into Boxy. All right, so I'll go ahead and start this up, and Boxy loads right on up. So Boxy is a great application. You can do a lot of cool things with it. And let me see if I can uh, remember my uh, password here. All right, so I got Boxy up and running. I'm all again to it. Uh, if you never had Boxy before, you need to create an account, go to Boxy's website and do that. And this application does run on a regular Mac, so check that out. I did a video about this not too long ago. Uh, but here it is. So you can basically do a lot of different things, access your photos, movies. You can watch TV shows from like CBS. Uh, the great thing about this application, too, is also it has a lot of good applications in So you can watch um, applications just for YouTube with Vision 3. Love their content. Uh, a lot of different things like that. Or you can search for, uh, you can search for more in the app library. And they're literally, I haven't been here in a while, but there are tons, tons of applications for every single thing that you can get. I mean, it's ridiculous. Twitter, I mean, this thing is really a full-fledged client. So there's plenty of things you can do with this. Um, this is called Boxy. You can get this right on the uh, Apple TV here through this little hack. I love it. All right, so let me sign out of here. Okay, so you simply sign right out of the boxy, and it's going to take you right back to the main uh, Apple TV menu screen here, and you can go to XBMC and Xbox Media Center, and, and this is it. I mean, I'm not going to keep this video too long, but this is how you hack it, and there's a lot more stuff you can do from here, from playing back different type of file types, um, using it as storage, you know, I mean, tons of different things, but I'm just going to show you these things, just a good little, good little head start to it. All right, it's been so you know, best here. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Peace.